Hello, my name is Robert Betzold and I'm going to take you through a tour of the FiberTrader software package. I am one of the lead developers and architects of this software and I will share my insight with you and I hope you enjoy the tour. The FiberTrader is a package for analyzing financial data to plot data on charts to have indicators on them and calculations to see trading signals and it will also manage your portfolio and help you select the stocks which could be interesting to invest in. Now I could show you pictures and all of that but I think the most interesting is if we go right into the system and I will start by playing through as a plain user. I will go to the web page, download it, install it and then show you all the modules and functionalities you can find in there. This recording is created as one big recording, so it is one big scenario and it will be split up into parts, so you can jump to the part which interests you most and I hope you enjoy this recording and take a lot of new knowledge about the FiberTrader with you. Have fun and let's start! So I'll open a web browser and I will go to the FiberTrader web page, which is FiberTrader.com. The FiberTrader is available in English and German and it will run on uh, Windows up to Windows 7, where by Windows 7 is the latest available system right now at the time of the recording. So here we are at the FiberTrader web page. Let's switch to the English version and let's see what we can find here. Um, Robert Fisher will provide market um, information weekly, so he has a certain amount of indices he's looking at and he will share some insights into how he is trading, what he is analyzing and what he sees as possible future trends. And so you see a picture and you see the comments and positions he's currently in. We have some tutorials and then of course we have the FiberTrader software and I will only quickly go over the info section. You find lots of functionality descriptions here, but you'll see all this live in a second. So what is more interesting is the data section down here. This is the list of data vendors which we currently support and the FiberTrader itself doesn't come with any market data, but it can import a lot of external data sources. So what we have is data sources ranging from entering data manually to downloading some free data from the internet and also in a professional way to get streaming tick data from professional data vendors where you can subscribe to and as soon as you have these subscriptions you can connect them to the Fibber Trader and you're up and running. This is the current list of supported data sources. Actually internally we support more than uh, 17 different data sources but they grow and shrink from time to time depending on popular demand. Then we have our download section and an interesting section right here. It's called free version. So you probably wonder what is the cost of this software and actually there are two models. One is if you only want to have end of the data or if you have your own data and you import it manually through the ASCII import, then you can use the software completely for free, so there's no cost attached to it. You can use it, you can experiment with it. Only restriction is you cannot connect any of the data vendors to it. You have to have your own data in flat ASCII files. If you want to connect any other data vendors, there are two models. The first one is the pricing at 25 euros a month or 200 a year where you get all the functionalities of the Fibber Trader and you connect all the supported uh, software and uh, data sources except interactive brokers because this is priced differently. If you want to connect your interactive brokers account with the Fibber Trader then you have to pay 49 a month or 468 a year. So you can decide to get a license and you will instantly receive your um, activation code and you're up and running. So let's start with going to the download section and we'll actually go and download the Fibber Trader and while it's downloading let's take a look what else we can find here. 
there is a quick start which I can personally recommend. It will show you the first steps. And of course, there's also a bigger help file which will show you a lot of details on the FibroTrader. Since I'm going to do this, let's not open it. So let's simply start the installation. Since I'm not an administration user on Windows 7, I have to enter my password once to get the installation up and running. Let me close the browser and here we go.